ever beheld. Why, the big man's belt came high above Finn's head, and hanging from the belt was a sword as long as Finn was tall. Now Finn McCool had never met this big man. The big man had never met Finn, and yet for some reason the big man leaned down, saw Finn and his dog, and asked, Where's Finn McCool? Better go. I can't go, go, Finn. So the two of them just ran right up the path along the cliffs. And there, just where you couldn't see it from the beach, was Finn's house. Well, he jumped into his back door, and there he saw his wife, Una. She was kneading dough in a great, heavy wooden bowl. Dough for making scones, those sweet little biscuits that you eat in the morning. And she saw him as he ran in, and she said, Finn, Finn, how are you? I'm fine, my love. Did you bring the limpets? Uh, forgot the limpets. There's a big man coming. We've got to get him to go home and away. He won't want to come back with any of his big friends. If you know what I mean? That kind of a man. I, I, instead of making lots of little scones out of all the dough you got in that fine bowl there, would you consent to make a two great big ones? And put this right in the middle of one of them. And remember which is which. And he went to the wall and got an iron horseshoe hanging there on a nail. Well, she cut the giant pile of dough in two, she fashioned two giant triangular skulls, and then she shoved the iron horseshoe down into the center of one of them, covered it over, nicked the top so that when it cooked she would know which was which, shoved them both in the oven, and she and Finn sat to uh, So pounding hard that the very door shook under the lintel. But, sweet as she could be, she just walked right up, Una did, and she opened it up. And there, outside, towering above the lintel, was the big man who looked in and said, Where's Finn McCool? Well, I'm afraid he's out hunting at the moment. Would you like to come in and wait for him? I'll do that. So the big man stumped into Una's kitchen. Immediately, he smelled the delicious scones. The whole kitchen had filled with that smell of sugar bread. And his mouth began to water, and that was when he looked across the kitchen and saw Gaul in the wood box. And the big man said, Hoy! Who is that? Oh, that's Finzi, my newest baby. Just born yesterday. Isn't he sweet? Well, a big baby. The big man walked over and took a better look. Holy, this baby's got a beard. Well, all of these babies are born with beards, you didn't know that. Hi, I did not know that. And at that moment, Gaul opened his mouth. Oh, the big man thought, oh, the baby wants to suck me thumb. And so he stuck his thumb into Gaul's mouth, and Gaul took a good chew on it. And the big man pulled it out, and it was smarty terribly. In fact, it hurt. I don't know if you remember the song. <laughs> oh, you got hurt. 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 Oh, you